Social media has provided a cocoon for racist ideologies to germinate and for people to become more and more in, in, imbued with racist ideologies. Uh, and this occurs by the algorithmic system so that people only see material that they agree with and progressively see material that is more and more disturbing. We know that the way the human mind works is that there's a higher dopamine response if children are subjected to material that is dangerous, that is harmful, and that is psychologically hurtful. And so children over a period of time uh, become subjected to more and more extreme content, promoting more and more racist ideologies, and promoting more and more dangerous uh, content, and more and more in, in, in lauding violent activity. Uh, we know that the significant uh, mass killing incidents that have taken place in the last several years have a situation where the perpetrator was heavily influenced by social media. Uh, this doesn't have to be this way, but nevertheless it is, and until these products change, uh, we're going to have continued risks, and the divisions within our society and our culture uh, between race, I fear, uh, will not uh, be abated.